guys, before we um, go further with the uh, wave window that we were talking about last week, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to um, sort of make ambient sounds that are changing and evolving a bit because a lot of people um, are requesting that and uh, say they want to learn more ambient sounds. So what I did for this one is um, I used three oscillators. This one will be the first and then the second. For all the oscillators, I'm uh, modulating the pitch. This one, for example, um, of the mod pitch of oscillator A, it um, just does whole octave jumps between 12 and uh, so between 12 semitones up and uh, zero. very uh, subtly and um, then um, let's see I do the same for B where I draw in a different melody I need to solo that one and I set the voices to 6 for this one and I um, um, sent the sound through an L-pass filter and a low-pass and the L-pass is to mess with the phasing a bit as well as on the master um, and makes it sound more ambient. So that is uh, the second lane. I do a similar thing with uh, the first lane. And then we have the third oscillator. And this one is the most advanced uh, melody. And what I did here is, um, first of all, if you have two points here, uh, there are messed it up. But if you have two points, you can select the um, you can select the points and then say step or uh, line. And what I did is I used. Now I messed it up, but I can open it again. Open sound. So there we have it uh, fixed again, and what I did is I selected these two points, and then I clicked on um, lines, and then it's not going to be a step anymore, but you get this line, and then you can make sort of um, a pitch uh, a pitch up rather than um, a, a static pitch. So in this case, you hear it pitch down. So right again. So you hear very uh, suddenly the, the pitch go down there. And then there's a L-pass filter on the uh, master. And there's not so much um, filter modulation uh, going on here, only the filter, um, filter B frequency. And I modulated that with a controller. And we'll get to that in a second. But first, the effect section. I did modulate the the wet control. I think. Yeah, and that is uh, controlled with the uh, with the controller as well. And I used the etherizer effect on pretty basic settings feedback up to 80 and then I used the comp filter and messed with the frequency and the resonance a little bit. So then when we get to the perform page you can see 
I got a few things here. This one, for example, is um, controlling this filter envelope here. assign a performance control such as this one um, to a filter you go to the filter where you've made the rhythm and then you select all the points and then here you can choose um, to which macro uh, you want to assign it and then you have to give it some range and you can do this for the amp or for the timing when you're in envelope modes so the amp is just gonna be um, how much of the modulation you want and the timing is um, how fast it's going to be and I did the same for the um, for the wet control here I just, so I just made this basic rhythm I think I just uh, said generate AR pulse and then I set it to 16 notes so 0.25 or it was 8 maybe and then sync and loop it I selected all the points and I set it to this one and now when we go over to the performance page this is controlling the amount of the uh, of the envelope Um, so that's it for uh, this week. Simple sound, but um, pretty uh, pretty interesting things you can do with it. So have fun with that, and thanks for watching.